We often talk about the rising price of prescription drugs. Well, tonight, a new drug is expected to hit the market soon with the biggest price tag ever. Meg Terrell has more. The debate over the price of drugs puts near constant pressure on pharmaceutical stocks. And it's about to take on a whole new dimension with a drug expected to be approved by the FDA this month. It's a medicine for a rare and devastating childhood disease called spinal muscular atrophy. And it could cost as much as $2 million. Many on Wall Street argue it's a price that makes sense. This new gene therapy drug, which could cost $2 million or more, uh, you know, is a life-saving therapy these babies, these infants would be uh, essentially uh, nowhere in a year, and now they're growing up to possibly be normal, normal children living a normal life. It's pretty, pretty impressive. The drug is made by Swiss pharma giant Novartis, and it's one of a new group of medicines that aims to dramatically improve, if not cure, disease with just one treatment. They're called gene therapies because they deliver copies of functional genes to make up for ones that cause disease. There's already one on the market in the U.S. Spark Therapeutics is Luxsterna, which treats a rare form of blindness. It costs $850,000. But Jeffrey's analyst Michael Yee says many more are on the horizon. I could see five or ten new gene therapy drugs coming out over the next five years, uh, and I think we're going to see a lot more. And though their price tags are large, Yee says gene therapies could actually be a bargain compared with medicines patients have to take chronically. The existing therapies could cost millions of dollars. Uh, because they have to be paid and used every year for the rest of your life, the total sum of those payments could dwarf the cost of the gene therapy. So you could argue, though, although it's a one-time payment or a one-time price tag, that that's actually cheaper over the life of a patient. But as the price of drugs is already under scrutiny, such a hefty price tag will likely only dial up the debate. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell.